Hey guys, Pelafort here with another episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play. This is fun. Okay, so, in the last episode we took over West Prussia and now we're just amassing an army. I'm going to try to assassinate Gottfried Arnold, the Protestant minister who still exists in Königsberg. And Pavel fails once again. Damn it, Pavel. So, we're converting there. And we're just trying to amass a big army. Um, let's see here. We got one turn until our farms are upgraded, so that's what we'll be spending money on then. So for now, we are going to get this army ready for an invasion. Lungs kick so much ass. I'm gonna just get two reasons. Recruit. Pikeman. Very cheap soldiers. Okay. So now that we declined Austria, um, they're gonna be a little pissed. But, let's see, we're not going to be able to start trading just yet, but soon we will. Um, Crimean Khanate has not been taken over by Russia yet, but it might happen pretty soon. Ideally, I'd like to finish off Russia, sweep around, take Crimean Khanate, kick Ottoman Empire off of Europe and sue for peace, and then turn around and sort of just I'm making motions with my hand that obviously you can't see, sort of just um pinch Austria off. Um, the capital of any country is the hardest to deal with like rebellions and stuff because they're always the angriest, you know, really pissed off people. So with that we'll end the turn. And once again, I fail to time any of this, so I'll just go the standard two turns, and if it runs over, so I guess I'll split it into two videos. That'll be bad. So there goes France doing God knows what. Um, when I play on easy, not a lot happens, but when I play on medium, it always seems like everything's a little more eventful. So maybe we'll be seeing some change in fields a little more, especially with Sweden and Russia. As much as you think that I want Russia to do well, I want Sweden to kick their ass because everything that um, Russia loses, I can take from Sweden before Russia gets back. Because I don't want to lose Russia as an ally. They're never good to piss off. They have a lot of people and a lot of land. Ideally, I'd like them to be only on the outskirts in the Siberian winter where their land is shit. I don't even need it. And then I can take Scandinavia. And I'll work my way into Germany and Italy. Um, one thing to note is that Poland is probably the one country where you will not be using the Navy at all. I have never used the Navy as Poland until like the 1770s. Really, you'll just you'll just go by land. It's such a it's not a landlocked country, but it's such a land based faction. If you know what I mean. So here we go. We're gonna build up this army here. They'll go over here, and we'll see how many people we can move up 
the gangster's still pissed off. So we'll leave the cannons. Cannons don't do much of this. Cannons didn't even subdue the people. We'll leave... Who's worse actually, militia or pikemen? Oh wow, that's such a bashing move. Pikemen carried long spears that would have been familiar to the armies of Alexander the Great. Oh, they just got burned. So, in reality, Berlin is probably going to be hyper fortified, and I won't be underprepared for this assault. But as long as I make a dent, I'm happy. We will upgrade our farms, starting with my core areas. I don't know why I did that one first. Shvantalkshiki, Vistula. Um, I'll do. The one in Galicia, because I like Galicia a lot. Chernobyl. We'll do the Belarusian one. Gratna. Belar Belarus is two. Zitomirsh. And we'll start the Lithuanian ones. Sudovia. And Duagava. And unfortunately, East Prussian farmland will have to wait for its upgrade. So, once that is underway, uh, oh shit, I forgot to set my research to, to, uh, I'll do that, I'll do that after this. Um, after we get all the farms upgraded a little bit, the population will start to rise more, which means we'll get a little bit more money, but also new buildings will emerge faster. And Austria might declare war on me any minute. They're really putting a lot of troops in the Silesia. I don't know if they're just defending it from Prussia or planning an assault on me. Because I did decline that alliance. Um, once I get into Berlin, it's going to be a pain in the ass to subdue. But I'll manage. And, um,. That research, the one, it automatically stays, so like if you're researching a farm technology, when you're finished with it, you'll start researching another one, but I don't want that. I'm going to start military, and then eventually I'll build another school. Once my factories get up, I'll start doing industrial things. And, um, you know, after that, it'll just be a home stretch. Oh man, I worked a one and a half hours today and then I got home on a Sunday. Oh yeah, oh I forgot to mention this. Um if you're seeing the flag of Hanover with the tag Croatia on it, it's because I tried to install a Croatia mod that failed and uh renamed Hanover Croatia. So I never got to play with them and I never got to be Croatia. I always wanted to do emergent factions because I wanted to play as Hungary and I wanted to play as Ireland. But that's always hard to do. The mods are always fun. So, I'll switch the research to Plug Bayonet. And with that, this is the end of the video. Alright, see you next time, guys. This is Pelifor.